हेलो एवरीवन अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन कैम एंड फॉलोअर बट हियर इज द न्यूमेरिकल विथ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द फॉलोअर दैट इज फ्लैट फेस फॉलोअर सो लेट सी इट हियर वी हैव द स्टेटमेंट अ कैम ऑपरेट अ फ्लैट फेस्ड फॉलोअर सो द टाइप ऑफ फॉलोअर इज गिवन फ्लैट फेस देन विच मूव विथ साइक्लोइडल मोशन ड्यूरिंग द एसन so during the ascent the motion is again different that is the cycloidal type of the motion and the same kind of motion is during the descent the further specifications are the minimum radius of cam is given so let's just write given data minimum radius of cam rb is equal to 30 mm then lift of the follower is given so s is equal to 40 mm angle of ascent is given angle of ascent theta o is equal to 120 degree so that is with cycloidal motion then angle of dual is given theta d1 is equal to 60 degree angle of descent theta r is equal to 90 degree again during the descent the same motion is there that is cycloidal type of the motion and speed of cam is given 300 rpm and they ask draw a cam profile and find maximum velocity and acceleration during ascent and descent for that only this speed is given because we need to calculate omega while calculating maximum velocity during ascent or descent so here we have x y axis on x axis there is cam angle and on y axis the stroke run is there so firstly let's take cam angle equal to total it is 360 and we are taking the scale on x axis it is 1 cm is equal to 20 degree so total is the 360 so it is 18 cm and on y axis we are going to take 1 as to 1 because as the stroke length is 40 mm so we can directly take 4 cm distance so here we have the block now let's just divide this cam angle into outstroke dual and return so outstroke is 120 so it is divided by 20 so we get 6 cm then dual is 60 so it is 3 cm then return is 90 so it is 4.5 cm and just draw a vertical line from this cam angle so now the motion is cycloidal type of the motion for that let's just join this corner of outstroke and extend it beyond the origin point now draw the circle on this diagonal line having the radius equal to s upon 2 pi so stroke length is equal to 40 divided by 2 pi so it is 6.36 because the motion is cycloidal so we are considering that the stroke length is equal to circumference of the circle so it is 2 pi r is equal to s so we get r is equal to s upon 2 pi so let's take this 6.36 distance in your compass and draw a circle now divide this circle into say equal even number of part here we are going to say a 6 equal number of part so let me divide it firstly so here we have the division of circle now let's start one point near to the right side of ball of bottom vertical line so here is the one this is 2 3 4 5 and 6 now project this 1 2 3 4 5 6 point on the vertical line so here we have the projection now this 3 and 6 is already projected on vertical line here we have the projection of 5 
and four point so for one and two point we have the projection on vertical line for three and six we have the projection on vertical line similarly for five and four we have the projection on vertical line now draw a line from this vertically projected points which is parallel to the first diagonal line so here I am going to draw the line parallel to the diagonal line from the projection point this vertically which is on vertical line okay now as we divide this cycloidal circle into six parts let's divide this outstroke and return stroke angle into six equal number of parts so the outstroke is 120 degree so it is easy to divide a six part because it is six centimeter okay so here we have the six division give the number zero one two three four five and six similarly divide this return stroke into six part for that i need to draw a cross line now i am going to draw cross line with 3 cm and going to divide that 6 part that is 0.5.5 cm and just project or join the last point with this return stroke corner and now from the dividation point just need to draw a parallel lines which is cut your return stroke length into Six equal even number of part so here we have the point six then this is your seven this is eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so here we finish with divisions now we have this cross line for the projection of one and two and here we have the point one so when this vertical line from point one cut the cross line of projected cross line of the point one we have the first intersection point similarly just draw vertical line from point two which is cut this cross line of point two so we get the second intersecting point similarly draw the vertical line from point three and see we have the point 3 projection with this middle line so when they meet each other we have that intersection point similarly for point 4 we have this uppermost projected line so here we get the intersecting point and for point 5 also we have the uppermost projection point so here we get this point and from point 6 we have the projected line of the 6 and here we have the vertical line of 6 and this is our intersecting point so from point 0 let's just draw a smooth curve of slack cycloidal motion and give the name of this intersection points firstly a b c d e and f then there is a dual period now uh, let's just draw a vertical line from the dividation of return stroke so here we are going to draw vertical lines and take a horizontal projection of ABCD point because the same motion is there during return and during ascent so no need to redraw the cycloidal circle again now as we projected this point horizontally let's just mark first point is here then the second third fourth fifth and here we have the last point that is the sixth join these points with the smooth curve we get 
cycloidal type of the displacement diagram during the return give the numbers or name to that point okay when this is both for the lift and both uh, return we have the same type of the motion of the follower that is cycloidal so we need no need to separated the return stroke we have just run a one cycloidal circle and we take the projection of this point on return stroke and we get the displacement diagram now let's draw the cam profile for that firstly let's just draw cam base circle so here we have the base circle radius equal to 30 mm now there is no offset so it means follower is in radial way and the follower type is flat face follower so here we have drawn this flat surface which is tangent to the cam okay so now let's take the first outstroke angle from this vertical line that is equal to 120 then join that point from the center of cam O then the dual is equal to 60 so from this outstroke again let's take the dual equal to 60 and the last is equal to 90 that is the return stroke So it is 90 degree theta r. Now as we know here we have the outstroke and cam rotated in this clockwise way. So this follower is comes in contact from that side of the cam. So for that we have divided this outstroke with 6 number of part. So similarly we are going to divide the outstroke on the circle that is on base circle into six number of part now here we have the base circle only in case of roller follower we have divided the prime circle but here we have the base circle so we divide this base circle into six equal even number of part now let's take a distance from point one to a and mark a point A on line 1. Similarly, let's take distance equal to 2 to B. Then from the base circle on line 2, mark point B. 3 to C. On line 3, mark point C. Then 4 to D. On line 4. From base circle mark point D, 5 to E and then 6 to F. Now join these points with the smooth, smooth curve is not way in case of the flat face follower. So what we are going to do from point A just draw a flat face. Okay. Similarly, from point B, draw a flat face follower. Now see, with this reference flat face, this reference flat face is, the flat face is perpendicular to the line of motion of the follower. So, with this second line, or we can say that with this line 1, we are going to draw a flat face, which is perpendicular to the line of motion of follower. Similarly, from point B, draw a flat face which is perpendicular to the line of motion of follower same procedure for point C for point D E and F ok so flat face is the perpendicular to this line of motion of follower now we need to 
draw a cam profile which is tangent to the this flat face follower and for that we are just going to extend this flat face follower up to the next line similarly i am going to extend this flat force flat face up to the next line for b let's just extend it up to the next line okay so i have extend each flat face up to the next point and now we are going to draw cam profile which is tangent to this flat face just draw a curve which is tangent to the flat face okay nothing else now let's repeat the procedure for return stroke again we have the six part for return stroke so let's divide this return stroke into six parts so here we have the six part six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay now this six point the same f point is there for the six okay because that uh, six to f and six to g distance is equal so we just take this much distance and mark point g here now the next 7 to h so on line 7 mark point h then h to i so from point 8 mark point i on line 8 then 9 to j so from point 9 here we have the point j then 10 to k so here we have the point k then 11 to l so here we have the l and last is the m same on the base circle now draw a flat face passing from each point okay and how we can draw just draw a flat face which is perpendicular to this line of motion of follower similarly from point h flat face which is perpendicular to line of motion of follower then i then j k l and last is the m this is like this horizontal now again extend this line of flat face up to the next line so i'm going to extend in this way and also this vertical so we have extended the line k to meet the next flat face then line j to meet the previous flat face so now let's draw a cam profile which is tangent to this flat face okay so in this way we have or we can able to draw the cam profile with flat face follower i hope you get the concept how to draw the psychological type of the motion there is displacement diagram and how to draw the cam, uh, cam profile with flat face follower. Thank you for watching videos.